guys, so I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to organize kids' things. And these things I've been using for a long time, and so I hope this helps you guys. So first off, we're gonna start out with these cabinets that I have in my hallway. Um, I have one on this side of the bathroom and one on this side. So I'll, sh I'll start with the boys' cabinet real quick and I'll show you. So what I did was I went to Goodwill, okay? And I got um, this little, for like two bucks, this bin. And I put their extra soaps. If you can see, I have like bubble bath and stuff like that. But I put like their extra loose soaps and the boys' deodorants and like things they got from Santa and... Um, I believe that there is some like toothpaste in there and sunscreen and I just corral it in that bin so I can take the bin down and get whatever I need. Um, and then I have these like tray looking baskets that I put their towels on and that just helps me to keep them separated. Um, these are pretty like deep shelves so it helps a lot and then right here i got this basket from goodwill as well and it's just a wicker basket and it is so beautiful and i got it for again baskets are like two bucks at goodwill so if you look at the right baskets so i just put um so my husband gave the boys these folders and they contain their artwork so they put their artwork in these folders anything they draw and what doesn't fit in there they can't keep so I will have them go through and I will organize and I'll have them organize what they want to keep and what wasn't so important to them and that's their art folder now in this bin is things like coloring books um, it's kind of dark in here um, I got these really cool for like 50 cents at Walmart and they're just like little um, like little notebooks or whatever so one side is Liam's and then the other side is Jesse's, and he's got like sketchbooks and stuff. Liam has a sketchbook, but it's in, a, but it's in his room. And in the middle to separate it, I just put their markers and stuff. So this system has been really helping the boys. You know, they know which side is theirs, and they know what they can get from it. And this is all of their art stuff for, I mean, until I show the other side. So it's like bathroom stuff, and then they have their own little art cabinet. And then down here, I put their DVDs. They got a DVD player for Christmas. We don't allow TVs in their room, but the DVD player is perfectly fine. And I just go to Goodwill and get DVDs, or sometimes I'll get them for Christmas. And I just kind of organize them here, and all three kids can come in here, pick a DVD, and chill in their room if they want. Um, of course, they have to clean. And then down here is the chapter books. And I put the chapter books next to the boys' room because they're the ones reading them right now. And I kind of just categorize them to goosebumps. And then there's some older books in the back and some learning uh, books I got. And then, um, you know, they're fun chapter books, hard. And then the soft chapter books are on the top and the back. So that way they can easily find what they're looking for. And then let me show you my daughter's side. Here, we'll just open both and I'll kind of step back. It's kind of hard to show you my cabinets with the camera. Okay, so up here I am starting this new thing where I'm putting all of my toilet paper and my paper towels. And um, in these two bins, I got these bins from, uh, one here and right here. I got these from, I believe it was Ross. Um, I go to Ross and Burlington um, a lot and Goodwill and Savers, but I believe those were Ross. And they're just bins and I hold, um, I could just take this whole thing out, get my cotton owl wipies, and then put the rest back. Now, Sam's Club, they give big things uh, of like toilet paper and stuff, so I'm thinking of putting all of this stuff down here and organizing it and making this into a second shelf, but I'm gonna wait to go stop shopping and see how this works because paper towels alone, I don't think they'll all fit here, but this is my little experiment that I have going on. That way it's not in my closet. Um, and then for um, Lily, or for, this is like the general art section. So this is Lily's, cause the boys is over there. So this is Lily's stuff, but this is like a general section and these I got from Walmart and they're Tupperware containers and I just separated. So like this is whiteboard stuff. Let me see if I can show you guys. So this is whiteboard stuff in this Tupperware. So like whiteboard markers and erasers and scissors because when they were learning at home, they had to use their whiteboards a lot. And so I just got like these containers that are stackable from Walmart 
and I put that in there and I organized it for them like that. And then the next one has, let's see, the next one has glue. So all different types of glue and someone put scissors in there and someone spilled glue. But the good thing about this is they spilled that glue, right? So now it's got its own container so the glue's just spilled with the glue. It's not all over the markers and stuff. So that's my second container. And then we have fat markers, Crayola fat markers. Stack that up. Skinny markers. I got these off Amazon and they're amazing. And then I have pencils and sharpeners and erasers in this one. And they just stay stacked and the kids know exactly where things are and they can find the skinny markers. They don't get lost. Now these three, these three things back in the back here, these folders, I actually got them on sale at Sam's Club one year and I keep them because we use them for when they were learning in school. Let me see if Lily's light makes this brighter. Um, I keep them for in school, for, for, from in school learning, but I actually wanna keep them for junior high because I know they're gonna need big uh, folders like that. So I kinda just store those for them. I got this basket at Goodwill. Super duper cute. And what I do is I just took it and I put their clipboards so they can randomly draw everywhere in the house. <laughs> and then I got some lined paper. And then we have the copy paper if they want some white paper. And then some fun. And then my mom, take this down. My mom just gave me um, a bunch of lined paper that she had in her house. So I have that. And I have extra notebooks for school. And then extra crayons. And there's like a timer in there. And so that's all organized in that bin anything extra is in the back right there and I will not get more than what's in that bin so we will not get more extra stuff sorry I just dropped something um that's it that's all that I'm allowed to have that way my my stuff doesn't come bursting out the seams you know and then I these shelves are amazing man look at how much more space I could utilize using that shelf otherwise I'd have to stack everything on top and it'd be falling over and then I have my um hole punchers and scissors and it just works out perfectly it's so cute and then so Lily's I also got this basket at Goodwill how cute is that and then I got this little um, paper holder organizer thing and she has her school stuff in there she has her journal and just different paper she can write on coloring books sticker books and it's all right there so she can go through it and find what she's looking for and that's all she's allowed to have um, and then this is just sitting here look because I'm decluttering I have another thing I can do something with but we can have empty spaces and then back there is some jewelry that she can beads to make jewelry with you know so down here by her room I have her books well they can use all the books but this is the stuff that she can look at this is stuff I've had since I was a kid few for the boys but they're just all things and this the the organizer that the books are in these are those um like you can put blankets in them people hang them up in their closet and they put clothes in them and i put books in them so they don't scratch my shelves and i did it with the bigger books too um and this bottom uh of the cabinet also has books as well and it just helps keeps the books organized so that they don't fall everywhere and they don't get broken. They It helps them to stand up. So let me give you an overview of both of these cabinets because these have been working amazingly. So here is the boys by the bathroom. So bathroom stuff and then art and then books and movies. And the kids, it's so organized that the kids know where to get things and know where to put things away. And then here is Lily's stuff and it just works so well in this basket for the paper oh my gosh it's such a lifesaver um and again two bucks goodwill and then these if you don't want your cabinet scratched oh my goodness these work so well and like i said you, they're just the cloth organizers that you hang up in your closets so let me take you into the boys and lily's room because i want to show you how i organize their clothes okay so we are in my boys closet right now so how I organize is, if you look up there, that's a bunch of games. I took the games and put them in there because whenever the kids wanna play games, what I'll do is I'll have them clean up their rooms and um, that way we don't lose any pieces of the game and then I'll go ahead and pull one down for them. And then that bin right there with the Jenga in it, that is just like loose games that really don't 
have a box for them, so I just put them in a bin. So these two bins right here are full of summer clothes for both boys. Um, eventually, I'm just going to hang them, but for now, I need to get some more hangers. So um, for now, they're just up in those bins, but that will be or more organized later but they're just summer clothes. So what I do with the boys' clothes is, one, I'll hang up like nice shirts and jackets. And then what I do is, I take these bins I got from Walmart, and I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're Systema or what. I don't know how to say it, but they lock, the lids lock on top. And um, they're at Walmart right now. But I put like underwear and socks in one, pants in another, and, uh, shirts and and on top of the shirts right now are some uh sweats for them but what i do when i go camping is i'll take the shirts out put it in the camper take a, the jeans out and shorts or whatever is in here put it in the camper put the lid on put it in the camper and then i put i just take one bin of the socks and underwear for both boys to share and i'll just put it in the camper and then their clothes are always packed for if we want to go camping but not only that they're always organized so they know where to put their clothes so that system has been working out super well. And then I got these stackable bins that I just put on the bottom of their closet and they put their shoes in and their rollerblades. And this has been working out great too. Now, this is the biggest mom hack because the clothes are already organized in here. So even if you're packing up a suitcase, open the bin, take your stuff out, put it away. You don't have to go looking around dresser drawers or anything like that. I wish I had a closet system for Lily where I could do that, but I do do this in her dresser drawers. Um, another cool hack is I have one big bin for Legos. See how long that is? That's all the Legos they're allowed to have. So if they get new Legos in, they have to clean out some of the old ones, you know, throw a few hand piles of, of Legos away. That's all the Legos that I have. And trust me, that is plenty. They could build like 80 villages with that. I swear there are so many Legos in there. Um, and then I put their big mega blocks in here that they've had since they were babies in one of these bins and some of those glow waste tracks. And then let me open this. You guys are going to get a wall view for a minute. That's something cool that Liam built. Um, is uh, That's their racetracks. And then this is the wooden blocks. And I have, it's one of the, another one of those big long bins. And I put their, so that they can just take that whole bin out, play with them, and then put it back. It's awesome. They're like wooden blocks. And then down here, this has been working amazing. So you know like the big fat quilts? Well, I have these big deep storage bins that go all the way back from Walmart. And one has quilts in it and blankets, none right now because it's cold. And then this one has um, sheets and stuff and it keeps them separated so the boys can like pull this out, lock it up when they're done with it, but they can pull this out, take their sheets out, put them on their bed and they don't get lost. And I don't have to put them in my other cabinets. So that's been working out amazing too. But yeah, this is the boys room. We just redid it. Um, this is my mom's cedar chest and I put like their, uh, what is it called? They're like uh, play sword things and, you know, like Nerf guns. And then uh, the boys have their DVD players up here. So Liam can lay in his bed up here and watch his DVD for my hair. And then Jesse can lay in his bed right here and watch his DVD. So it's really cool because they'll put their little headphones on and they'll be chilling, chilling in their beds. And I just got these blankets from Sam's Clubs, guys. I ordered them online. They came super quick and they're so soft. Oh my goodness. I got a bunch of blankets from Sam's Club. I am so obsessed with Sam's. But this was in my room and I organized their toys on it. So Liam gets that side, Jesse gets this side. And so on these outer shelves, um, I gave this to them so they can display some of their toys. Like they both have um, CD players and stuff. Um, and then just display some toys. And then right here, we have stackable ones. So in the in the stackable bins are like, these two have like action figures, these two have cars, and these are just like random toys that don't really go with anybody or anything. And then they have like a little beat laboratory. That's a uh, karaoke machine too. So they make a lot of music in here. Um, and then this mirror I actually had since I was a kid, and I thought it'd be a great idea to put their action figures on top of the mirror for them to display them and then they can play with them. Sorry, the mirror's dirty, but just a cute little organizing hack for toys so that if you separate them, the kids can find them easier. So let me take you into Lily's room and just show you a quick little 
Oh, I just did Lily's room too, and this is one of my last tips and tricks for this video. But I just wanted to show you some things that you can do for a little girl's room. If you look at her bed, um, she has a little DVD player right there too, so she can lay on her bed and watch it. It's so cute. This is her reading corner and her dollhouses. So what I did was I took one of those cubes and I made a dollhouse out of it, the cube organizers. Um, and what I did was I put like, I mean, you can see what I put in there, but it's like a little dollhouse. So it's like kitchen, bedrooms, and these cube things are so great for that because it's a great dollhouse. And I actually have one in the living room. When I get another TV stand, I'm going to put in here so she can add on to it and have an even bigger dollhouse. Um, but my friend gave me this shoe organizer and she has these things called calico critters and honeybees. And I made it into, cause they only give you these little houses. So I made the little shoe organizer into an extension of a house for them. And she put her horses down there. It's super cute. But yeah, it just made it into a little uh, calico critter honeybee house for them. So now she has her little two playhouses she can play with. And that cube organizer in my living room, when I get a TV stand that I like, I'm going to bring that in here and put it next to this dollhouse so she'll have an even bigger Barbie house. It's amazing. So check out her organizing thing. One, I put her dresser in her closet. Now, two, I just got this bin from the uh, Goodwill for two bucks. Super awesome. I put her babies in it. But um, what I do is I take these bins and I so this is her hair bin it's got everything she needs she grabs these two bins it's got hair bows headbands a spray water bottle brushes she takes these two bins sometimes I'll just take bows out of here and put them in here so I don't really need to take this one and uh I'll take it and do her hair in the morning for school it's awesome and I can just put it back and it stays organized and then I have one of those bigger bins for extra games for her right here. So she has her Legos and then some magnets and she's got a cowgirl hat. She's got like an ABC learning game. So this is like a bin for games to keep them corralled. She doesn't have too many in her closet. And then she's got a bin for her shoes that she just messed up. But so, I mean, it, it's cool because I put a bin just for her slippers. So I hope did that helped you guys with a little bit of organizing tips and tricks and hacks um, for how you can organize for your kids and help them to wear when they want to do art or they want to play in their room. It makes it better for them and it helps them to find things. And I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.